Hey there, Lacey here, the Sweet Pea Chef, and today I have seven new smoothie freezer packs to share with you because you can never have enough smoothies and these smoothie freezer packs are so easy. You prep them ahead, you keep them in the freezer, and then they are ready to blend. So easy, so good, so let's get started. For my smoothie freezer packs, I use a one quart size Ziploc freezer safe bag. You can also use a mason jar or any airtight container that freezes. Anything is gonna work as long as you can label it clearly and all the stuff fits in there and it is airtight. So definitely use what you have. To make your fruit smoothie freezer packs, you're gonna wanna start with any dry ingredients on the bottom, like your flaxseed meal, chia seeds, or rolled oats. And then after that, you wanna add any fresh fruit you have. And then after that, you wanna add any frozen cubes of peanut butter or Greek yogurt. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Packing it this way is gonna make it easier to get it out into the blender when it's time to go. To make things even easier when it's time to blend, I also like to freeze my Greek yogurt and my peanut butter ahead of time. This makes it way easier, just pop it into the smoothie freezer pack. I don't have to measure out any amounts or anything. I just pop it all in, add the milk, and go. All right, so let's start off with a delicious and simple cherry vanilla fruit smoothie freezer pack. This is one of our favorites, and it's so simple. So to get started, we're gonna grab our one quart freezer safe Ziploc bag. We're gonna open it up and add in our cherries. They can be fresh or frozen cherries, it does not matter. Follow that with some raw almonds, a little vanilla extract, and then we're gonna top with our frozen yogurt cubes on the top. And then we're gonna seal all of that up after pressing all of the air out, then place it into your freezer. In your typical ice cube tray, one of the little slots is gonna be about two tablespoons. So you wanna pack it all the way to the top for your Greek yogurt and you wanna have it a little bit less than that for your peanut butter. That way you can keep track of about how much peanut butter and frozen yogurt you're using. However, you can also just grab a spoonful of whatever you need and put it into the blender when it's time to blend. You're gonna be adding the milk at that point anyway. It's not a huge deal, but it does save a little bit of time and plus you get the cute little ice cube thing. All right, who doesn't love a good old fashioned PB&J, right? So let's make a PB&J fruit smoothie that is so yummy. So we're gonna start off with our Ziploc bag, open it up and add in our rolled oats. Then we're gonna add some flaxseed meal, some fresh or frozen strawberries that have been cut up, and some of our natural peanut butter cubes. Then we're gonna press the air out of the bag, zip it on up and put it into the freezer. So you can use fresh or frozen fruit for these recipes. You're gonna be freezing it anyway, so it really doesn't matter if you start with frozen fruit. I like to use up whatever fruit I have in the fridge so that it doesn't go to waste, or when I'm at the store and I see that there's a deal on like strawberries or blackberries or whatever, I grab that because I know it's fresh and then I bring it home and then I add it to my freezer packs and it's perfect because you have fresh fruit all year long. Next, we're gonna make my chocolate banana peanut butter smoothie freezer pack recipe. This is a favorite on the blog. You can grab the video link in the description below. It's just a really yummy, delicious, chocolatey smoothie. So in order to get started, we are going to grab our Ziploc bag and we're gonna add in some ground cinnamon, some dark cocoa powder, or if you want, you can replace the dark cocoa powder with some chocolate protein powder. Both of them are fine and they're gonna add in that chocolate flavor. We're gonna follow that with a banana that has been broken into small pieces. And then you're gonna add in your frozen peanut butter ice cubes. Then press the air out of the bag, zip it up and put it in the freezer. Before putting your fruit into your freezer bags, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's cut up a little bit smaller than normal. Rather than having a full banana or giant pieces of strawberry, you're gonna to wanna to break it up a little bit so that when you put it into the blender when it's time to go, you're gonna make it easier on the blender. It's not gonna be one big clump. You're gonna have smaller pieces. It's just gonna make it easier in the long run. Okay, one of my favorite flavors is the orange dreamsicle. So you know we have to make a fruit smoothie freezer pack for this. So in order to get started on this easy smoothie freezer pack, we're going to grab our bag and add in some fresh mandarin orange slices. Then we're gonna follow that with some banana slices, some vanilla extract, and we're gonna follow that with some of our plain Greek yogurt frozen ice cubes. And that's it, that's super simple. Close it on up, get all that air out of the bag, zip it up, and then place it into the freezer. You can always add in some protein powder into these fruit smoothie freezer packs. If you wanna do it while you're freezing it, just put it into the bottom with all the other dry ingredients, or you can always add it in as you're adding in your milk. 
gonna up the protein amount, which is gonna make this smoothie a little bit more filling and have a higher protein content, which is a great idea if you're using it as a meal replacement. Next, we're gonna make an avocado kale fruit smoothie freezer pack, which is so simple and so creamy and so good. So start off adding a, some banana to the bottom of your bag, followed by some diced avocado, a little bit of fresh lemon juice. The lemon juice is gonna do a couple of things. It's gonna keep the avocado from turning brown if it takes a little bit in order to get into the freezer. And it's also gonna help balance out your kale in case your kale is a little bit bitter. So definitely a good idea to add a little bit of lemon juice if you have it. Then we're gonna follow all of that up by adding some fresh washed kale into the bag. Press the air out of the bag, zip it up tightly, and then put this into the freezer as well. And yes, you can totally freeze an avocado. While you wouldn't wanna just freeze an avocado and then eat it with a spoon because the texture changes it a little bit, in a smoothie, you won't even notice the difference and you'll have delicious avocado in your smoothie, ready to go, and it's so easy. All right, so you know we gotta do a coffee smoothie, right? I mean, how can I do seven more and not add a coffee one? I love coffee. So in our bag, we're gonna add some ground coffee beans, half of a banana, some vanilla extract, and then we're gonna add a few of our frozen peanut butter cubes so that we have a creamy texture with our coffee. So good. Make sure to label your Ziploc bags before you put it into the freezer and before you actually add any of the ingredients. It's gonna make it way easier to write on it and you're, that way later on in the freezer, you'll be able to just quickly see what's in there, grab it and blend. Next, we're gonna make a strawberry cheesecake smoothie freezer pack, which is really a great way to get your strawberry cheesecake fixed, but in a very healthy way. So in our bag, we're gonna add in some fresh strawberries, followed by a little bit of lemon juice, that lemon juice is gonna make the cheesecake flavor really pop. And then we're gonna add in some of our frozen yogurt cubes. This is a very simple recipe, but very delicious flavor. So for all of these smoothie freezer packs, just grab them from the freezer, put it into the blender, add in your milk. My favorites are unsweetened almond milk and unsweetened coconut milk. Any milk you want is perfect. Just add that into the blender and blend it on up and you are ready to enjoy your hassle-free, delicious, and healthy smoothie right away. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you love these seven smoothie freezer pack ideas. And if you want seven more, check out my other seven smoothie freezer pack recipe video to get even more. So then you'll have 14 smoothie freezer pack ideas. So much healthy inspiration, so delicious and so easy. And make sure to subscribe and let me know what recipes you wanna see next in the comments below. I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.